The Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Second Amendment in the Bruin decision. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has how that decision is affecting Massachusetts. Earlier this month, Governor Baker signed into law language to bring Massachusetts into compliance with the Bruin decision while also strengthening existing gun laws. Massachusetts gun laws were brought into question after the Bruin decision struck down New York's need for a proper cause to carry a concealed handgun. Massachusetts had a similar good reason clause which licensing authorities can no longer enforce. However, the bill that was signed into law does impose new restrictions. A person with a harassment order against them can no longer obtain a license to carry. The new law also requires licensing authorities to deny applications or renewals to applicants who could pose a risk to public safety. Second Amendment activists believe Massachusetts is once again overstepping. We knew it coming in that even if we get a good decision, that Massachusetts, like some of these other outlier states, would fight tooth and nail to not respect our civil rights. And, you know, that's happened to groups of people throughout U.S. history that may win a huge court case, but their local government still don't want to recognize their rights. And that's exactly what happened here. This new gun legislation was put into a $165.5 million borrowing bill that would improve and modernize the IT infrastructure and security of the state's court system. It's important to note that it is still illegal to carry a firearm in Massachusetts without a license. Working for you at the Statehouse in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.